A Loudoun County community remembering one of their own. Woodgrove High School student athlete Colette Bain passed away unexpectedly after a medical emergency. And tonight, students paid special tribute honoring the 17-year-old. Fox 5's Nana St. U. Bonesu is in Percival with more. Good evening. Tonight's game here at Woodgrove was a dedication to Colette Bain, a daughter, a sister, a friend, a teammate, a student, and of course, a Wolverine. Tonight's game started and looked a little different. People were wearing purple, standing for a moment of silence. Colette was a classmate, friend, fierce competitor who put her full energy and passion into everything she did. To many people here at tonight's football game, Colette Bain was a phenomenal ball player and wore number 13 on the court. But to a few, she was their best friend. We've been friends since basically as long as I can remember. Madison Badillo and Bain go as far back as preschool. It's really hard just not having her around anymore, having her cheer me on at the game. So. It's been a week since Colette passed. I didn't even think it was real to begin with. According to Bain's obituary, the high school senior was diagnosed with epilepsy in 2018, and it's believed that the neurological disorder is what led to her passing. The football stadium was purpled out for epilepsy awareness. The Woodgrove players are wearing purple decals, and the cheerleaders have purple bows with purple ribbons to raise awareness of epilepsy. During the game, her friends collected donations that will go towards Colette's memorial. Because she was such a good person, and I'm so happy that she was my friend. George Hughes has tons of memories with Colette, but one memory is going to stick forever. Definitely going to a Pitbull concert with her. Uh, we went, and it was so fun. It was pouring outside, and I don't know, I, I'll just never forget that. As the varsity football team players held Colette's basketball jersey with them during the coin toss, Madison wore one of Colette's headbands that she wore during her basketball games. Just having it with me tonight just breaks my heart, but also makes me happy to know that she's with me on the sidelines and with all of her other peers. Now, we're told Colette's family is deeply involved in this school community. Her mother and sister actually work at the high school, and her father works at the county level with the school district. Now, the principal said that there are extra counseling um, services and counselors available for students who may need the extra help. Back to you.